Hi, it's Karen here and thanks for visiting my channel. Today I'm going to do some stenciling with some coloured embossing paste. I love stencils and I think they're one of the most value for money crafting items that you can get and usually I use stencils with uh, ink blending and you know I actually sometimes forget that you can use it with embossing paste so uh, today I am going to be doing uh, some embossing paste. So I'm using the plaid number no. one stencil from Carter Bella, as well as a couple of dies from W plus nine and some white embossing paste, which I'm going to color with some hickory smoke distress ink to get a very pale gray. So I'm using a panel of white uh, 80 pound cardstock that I have already die cut down one side with a stitched edges die and it's narrower than a card base I think from memory it was three and three quarters by five and a half long I'm taking my palette knife and getting a little bit of white embossing paste and putting it onto my uh, media mat and then I'm going to smush some of the Distress Ink above that and I'm going to mix the two together. So I've zoomed in here, um, just pick up that embossing paste and put it into the ink and just go over and over and over it again until it's all mixed in nicely and it's all the same shade. It doesn't take very long at all, this is actually in real time. So you can see that it doesn't take long to uh, get ready. So once I've got that mixed uh, to the colour that I like, um, I am going to position my stencil over my card panel and tape that down with some purple tape. So flip that over and put some purple tape on the back. This is all in real time, um, rather than being sped up. So I want my embossing to fade out at the edges. So to do that, I start in the center and work out to the edges, rather than starting at the edges and work into the center. Now, there's a couple of times I actually forget and I um, I start at the edge and pull it in and that gives me a straight line so you can hear see I've got that straight line there which I don't like so um, to fix that I'll go back from the center out to the edges again and I deliberately want to leave it looking messy at the edges um, of all four sides so just getting it how I want it trying to remember not to start from the outside and come in and put a couple more touches in various places and call it done. So just checking it over, not too happy with that top left or right so I'm just going to selectively add a little bit more embossing paste to give it more of a rough edge and that's good to go so now I will take off the stencil and put that panel to one side to dry while I go and clean my stencil Okay, so the panel is dry now, it only took about 20-25 minutes. I've die cut uh, the word happy from black cardstock and the scripty word birthway, birth, birthway, birthday from some cement grey cardstock from my favourite things. So I'm now just cutting a few off cuts from, of uh, craft foam to uh, layer up the panel a little bit onto my white top folding card base. So I'm using some liquid glue to adhere that craft foam 
onto that stencil panel. Craft foam on. Doesn't matter how it looks because no one's going to see it. So I just use scraps. Add some more liquid glue and then I'll put that onto the card base and then I will put some acrylic blocks on it to um, hold it in place and keep it flat while it starts to dry. Put that to one side. Now I'll add some glue to the two die cut words. I find those little um, glue bottles really hard to squeeze. I don't know whether I'm just weak in the hands or what, but yeah, I find it really hard. So position that word happy, put the acrylic block down to keep that stuck down because that is actually trying to stick to the uh, embossing paste. And now add glue to the birthday word. Now I'm this card is using the current sketch from Freshly Made Sketches, so I'm going to angle the word birthday to mimic the sketch, which has an angled panel. No embellishments because this is a masculine card, and uh, pretty much that's my card done. So thanks so much for joining me. I hope you've had fun, and I will catch you next time. See you later.